In a previous screencast, I made a Chrome extension called Binged. And what that extension does is it adds a search on Bing button to the Google homepage. Now there's no reason to go watch that screencast because this screencast is about how to auto reload the extension as you're developing it. This is a big pain in the neck when you're developing a Chrome extension, at least for me it was. And I'm sure for others it is too if you haven't figured out another solution on how to automatically reload. This will go over one solution. But you, after each change you got to go to this reload and then you got to reload the page you're doing an extension on. So I came up with a solution for this and put it into a Grunt plugin. And it's called Grunt CRX Auto Reload. So let's get into how to install and use it. And let's do that by clicking right on the link at the GitHub repo. And I got a little getting started guide. Let's take, copy and paste this, the npm install. And I have the, I'm already at the uh, extension. It's done with Yeoman, if you haven't seen the other episodes. It has your Yeoman scaffolding for a Chrome extension. And we're going to need to install this Grunt plugin. OK, installed OK. And I'm going to make a little bit more room in this pane here so we can see what's going on a little bit better. And just to double check, let's just take a look at package.json to make sure we there's grunt CRX auto reload. So it went in there okay and it's also good to check the node modules to see if it went in there also and it did there right there so the install from npm did go successfully okay so let's keep moving uh, let me clear this screen here and let's go back to the readme that i wrote up and let's go now to the quick start guide now that we have it installed and uh, this says here we need to put a section into our grunt file and let's copy that too go back and open up the grunt file let's find a spot for this here this is the yeoman grunt file for a Chrome extension, so it has quite a few things in it already, but how about we put it right there, and I'm going to have to format it. Let's keep going there. Okay. Now the in Yeoman there is a convention here where we can use this Yeoman app instead of putting the directory in there, and that's going to be the root directory of app actually. So, but we're going to use that convention here since I'm using the Yeoman Chrome extension generator. Let's go back then to the readme and see what's next. Okay, next is going to, we're going to add a reload.js as a background script in the manifest.json. So, there is no background information yet in my manifest JSON for this Bing extension. So I'm going to grab that whole thing there and going to open up manifest JSON that's in the app directory. Okay, and let's put that there. Oops. And I got to do the formatting again. Okay, and let's just 
just take that comment out of there, save it. Let's go back to the documentation. Okay, the next step here is so this plugin is meant to be used in conjunction with the Grunt Watch, is what it says here. And that's absolutely the case. This is how you're, it's a vital part of using this plugin. You have to use it with the Grunt Watch. So let's save this also. And we already have this part down here. So let me just save that top part on the Grunt Watch and go back to the grunt file and I'm going to explain everything on how this reloading actually works in a second but let's just get some of this stuff done and once again I have to do the formatting I should have saved these beforehand okay does that match there and we can take off that comma and let's, oh, we, well, we don't need this watch there, do we? Let's do a comma, get rid of this, because we already have the watch, and this is going to be the name of the watch task inside of watch. So, uh, also, uh, we're gonna, so I'm just going to keep this app, because uh, normally you would have the uh, yeoman.app, but I'm just going to keep it that way, just to... Uh, keep this shorter and let's go save the file let's go back to the documentation and uh, the next section down here is going to explain a little bit more how this actually works now the reason why there is a extension dir defined in the options is that's where two files are going to be installed one is called reload.html and in reload.html, it's just going to be a timestamp with the second, uh, with the timestamp, yeah, with seconds. And there's also going to be a reload.js file created. Now, they're both going to be created in the extension dir, which is the app directory. Okay, so that, that's, that's all that is right there. And when you change a script file or some HTML and app.templates you can add any number of files you want to watch we're gonna kick off the task CRS CRX auto reload which points down to, to this task and what happens each time you change one of those files is all that simply happens is that a new timestamp is generated on reload.html. Now the first time it's run, reload.js is installed. It is not installed any time after that. And what reload.js does, you can look at the source. I won't go into the source, but it pulls the reload.html file every second to see if the timestamp has changed. If it has changed, then a Chrome runtime.reload will be executed on reload.html, effectively giving you that reload step right here where you normally have to click this here manually. Okay, so let's see it in action now. We're going to fire up Grunt Watch. Okay, let me open up one of the files. How about app templates bing.html? And let me just add bings to the end of that now. So, over here, the grunt watch task has kicked off, said that uh, bing.html has changed, and it ran the CRX auto reload task. So let's go over to, now we haven't touched this file there, so let's go over and reload the Google home page. And there it is, search on Bing's. And I did not have to do this intermediate step here of reloading. Well, isn't that just wonderful? And I do hope it helps you in your Chrome extension development. Stop 
manually auto reloading all the time. There are other solutions. This one's pretty nice because it's all JavaScript and um, again, help you find it useful. Thank you for watching.